Simon Letterman, BBC London 94.9. This is exactly how I like my guests because they're slightly discombobulated, not quite sure where they should be. But uh, this is how we like it. Welcome to the programme. Uh, and can I, first of all, welcome uh, an old friend of the programme, although he's not that old in, in years, Alexander S. Bomange. Good welcome. evening, Simon. How are you? Very, very good and very good to see you. Uh, well, it's good to see you. I, I haven't met on these premises in actual We fact. have not. In fact, I think we've only ever spoken on the phone before. Yeah, no, we have met once. Where were you? I was at Three Counties were, for gosh. the final day of your then co-presenter, in whose honour I had written a song. Yes. Wasn't that on the phone? No, I did it in were person. Were you in person? Yes. At the hospital? Maybe I'm getting confused. I think you are. <laughs> no, you're we, but we have we met were when I met the maternity Murdoch. hospital. No, oh, yes, that's right. I remember Murdoch, now. the musical I remember. that I'd done on the World Service. It's all coming back to me. That's See, a good I don't remember song. you because I remember everything. I've made that much of an impression <laughs> on you, Simon, <laughs> no, obviously. I, well, no, the thing is, I remember everything about that one day when we were at maternity. Right. Very, very disturbing day, I can assure you, for, for, for men of a certain age. However, I knew you weren't there. I couldn't recall why. Oh. Listen, welcome to the programme. Thank um, you. You're here because you are um certainly you've got the start of a brand new musical uh, I have, which we must talk about i'm surrounded by the artists who will be appearing in it hello hello welcome from. welcome to the program this is moment. this is the route to happiness route to happiness with cassidy jansen niall sheehy and shona white who are all i think three of our most exciting musical theater artists <laughs> and the show is basically <laughs> it charts the individual and interweaving journeys of three characters in modern day london as they try to achieve their goals um I don't it's know very what interesting you... what the goals are because for some people they'll all have these goals all of them but i think you have one goal per character that well they they have several goals but they have one they each have one thing which they would like to attain they each have a want um and in fact i think the, the first of the two numbers we're going to perform for you actually outlines the wants of well primarily of one of the characters and then we hear the other two so yes they set out what they want and then through the course of the musical their lives intersect and each of them has an impact on the lives of one of the others or in fact on both of the others um and uh, they they end up the show rather changed as it were i mean basically what i wanted to do was because as you'll know simon uh, and a lot of BBC listeners will know I write a lot of funny songs, but a lot of my shows had been quite dark in subject and in tone because I'm often attracted to more serious subject matters. But I wanted to write something that did have a lot of humour in it, but also had a lot of heart in it. Um, and I wanted to write something that had a small cast, a cast of three, that you could put on in a small venue like the Landor Theatre, which has a fantastic reputation for doing new musicals. And you could just experience three great artists up close. Uh, which one of your characters wants to make money? Uh, this is, Marcus. This is Marcus. Why did this I knew it would be the man? <laughs> Why did I knew it would be the man who wants to make money? Very, very clever writing. Obviously, uh, that wouldn't happen in real life. Welcome to the program. Tell us, tell us what your characters, uh, what your character is like. Yeah, well, Marcus is a kind of a, he, I suppose he's a, he's an atypical kind of young sibling you know he's he's a guy who is kind of grown up in his successful uh, older brother's shadow a bit and i'm sure his his parents had a you know dreams that he'd follow along the same path and whether or not he wanted to i think he struggled along the way to kind of stick with any one thing and, and get there so i think he he wants he wants the success and he wants the the kind of the wealth and the the notoriety that comes with being successful but i'm not sure he's he knows how to do it or what what's the best route to kind of um obtain that you know so do you have empathy with him i do i actually like i mean i think a lot of people would i don't think he's a saint i don't think he's like a your kind of hero of the piece or anything like that but um you know i think he is a kind of person i i, I know i could you know i know what it's like to kind of want to stretch yourself beyond where you are and yeah i think a lot of people kind of get that you know it's 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 a character who for whatever reason be it talent or just application hasn't got to where he wants to get to right which character wants to be, become famous that's my character. That's your character. Yeah. Right. Tell us this about your character. You've done your Cassie research. I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah. 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 uh, well, her name's Trinity. Um, and uh, she wants to be famous because why wouldn't you want to be famous? Um, it's her goal in life just to be famous, not for any particular talent at all. Because uh, she, as it pans out during the show, she doesn't really have any talent. Our favourite <laughs> kind of people that want to become famous. We think I'm used to that. You know, she we? loves Heat Magazine kind of thing. <laughs> Lives a Heat Magazine. Um, 
Pardon, what was the question? Sorry. No, what? <laughs> <laughs> She's in character now. You've got to... <laughs> I, yeah, I'm method, I'm method, yeah. yeah. <laughs> do, you, do you, I mean, I, I asked earlier on, Niall, do, do, do you have, do you have uh, sympathy, empathy with your character? Uh, she does Because have... you're on stage, for God's sake, you must want to be famous. Um, I don't, I don't, I would like success. <laughs> um, and there's certain things that, that are good that come with fame, I suppose, but I think there's, you know, the flip side to it as well, which we all, all see in the media most days. So it's... There's two sides of that coin. Uh, which I imagine leaves just you, Shona, who yes. wants to find love. I want to find love and your um, also, very importantly, uh, my character Lorna, um, she not only wants to find love, she wants to find uh, a family. She wants to have a family. Her biological clock is ticking, shall we say, and uh, she's yearning to have a child. And obviously, the means to an end <laughs> is uh, finding love. <laughs> Um, yeah, there we go. Now, Alexander, th this is an interesting, uh, it's an interesting story because, uh, as I say, for some people in this city, they'll want all three. Mm. And it's quite interesting because I imagine most people in the audience will see a little bit of themselves in all of the characters you've got. That was the aim. I mean, I think when you go and see a show, if you can almost put yourself into one or more, even all of the characters, then obviously you, it creates empathy. And I think the thing about the three characters, they're all quite likeable people, but like everyone in life, they've got flaws. And I think it's important to make them flawed enough to eventually have some kind of redemption so that we can follow them through their journey, see the mistakes they make. And, you know, if you want to, you can come out of the show questioning what your, role, what, what your own goals and dreams and desires are, or you can just think, well, actually, that was a really good night out. <laughs> um, now, this is going to be, this is on from uh, next week on the 19th That's till correct. the 24th of February, Tuesday to Saturday at 7.30, Sunday at half past two at the Landor uh, Theatre in SW9. Um, you're going to give us uh, a couple of bits from the show. That's right. Good. Right. Tell us what well, we're going to hear I first. set them up while the others uh, yeah. ra raise their microphones and do whatever they have to do, do to... Um, to oh, <laughs> live live radio. Um, basically, the 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 first song um, that we'll do is part of the part of the opening sequence. Um, basically, the show's set up with um, an introduction to our three characters, um, and to cut a long story short, we meet Lorna, who is the one who's longing for love and to start a family. We meet Niall, or I uh, sorry, we meet Shono's. I'll get this the right way around. We met Lorna, played by Shona. You see, they've, they've come so into character that I can't even tell the difference. Um, so we've met those two, and this is the time that we meet Trinity, and so we hear Trinity, Trinity's raison d'etre, so to say, and uh, then the other two chip in to round off the opening sequence. Wonderful. Take it away. Take it away. And you're going to be on the piano, by the way, that we should have mentioned. <laughs> be famous be crowned someday the greatest star of all some see in me an illiterate ignoramus but I shall make it onto every bedroom wall I'll hit the news with all my drunken capers giving all over the TV Set trends, no ends Go suing all the Sunday papers Bring out a single and a fitness DVD And have a tabloid column Someone writes for me I want a crowd to cheer me Fans to stop me in the streets I want the world to hear me when I sound off in my tweets A team to guide me anywhere my dreams may lead me to <gasps> To always be made to look amazing, that is even more than I already do It's fixed, it's fate, that somehow I'll be famous Do drugs, lose weight, <gasps> have a traumatic secret past and makeup everywhere Panic if one raindrop hits my hair Sleep on my bed to keep the peril of 
of wrinkles from me. I've about that meant to make me thin. I've a birthday booped or penciled in. And while I'm stacking shelves, I'll show off to anyone who'll see. I swear, I bet that somehow I'll be famous. Damn soon I'll get proposed to all the time. Those who diss and take the <gasps> well, they can come and kiss my anus when I make millions selling out in pantomime. I'll have Botox and a breakdown. Be the pin-up none will take down. Lash out at Pat who tried. Love is far from free And far above those doubting me Has favoured brothers forced to see I'm someone Supreme celebrity Requires no savings or degree Yet it can bring the likes of me A life of bliss A family while it's not too late Is wow, gosh, what energy in here. Tremendous. Thank you so much for that. It's interesting because hearing that all together, aren't we pathetic as human beings? Because that's all that's all we all want. That's all we all want. Um, fantastic. That is part of uh, the route to happiness. And you, gosh, you do put a lot of energy into this. How many times you got matinees? I guess. Well, on, I, I, on, I, on the Sunday, <laughs> I was hearing you name, like you know, drop drop the times of the shows in there, and I was like, well, I should really write these down. I, I, I have no idea. <laughs> it's, it's, really it's, it's, it's next week. It's it's we're still very much in Tuesday rehearsal. Tuesday to Lord. Saturday evenings, Tuesday and then a Sunday matinee. There you go. So the people who want to come in the evenings have got five opportunities, and then the matinee folk can come on the Sunday afternoon. Wonderful, yes. gosh. Is it is it difficult getting mm -hmm. a getting a cast together that can deliver? exactly what you want clearly these are because it sounded tremendous in here um i mean yes and no i mean we saw lots of people we saw fantastic people i think what the performers i'm surrounded by have all got they've all done leads in the west end um shona here i'd most recently seen touring in chess as the lead but has also been the lead in Les Mis and has played the leading role of the green witch in wicked niall lots of people will know um, from ITV's Superstar program because he was one of the finalists. That's where I got to know him and I saw him on television and I, I, I liked the look of him and the sound of him for the show. And uh, he's also been in Spamalot and has also been in Wicked. And Cassidy <laughs> has also been in Wicked playing the Green Witch, but she's There's also a been in. Uh, there is. I can't yeah. remember yeah. what it is. Well, yes, we've got our. Um, I mean, Wicked is a show that's close to many people's hearts and it, it just so happens. I mean, we, did, we obviously didn't plan it this way, but it just so happens that the, the three great talents around me have all been in Wicked, though not all at the same no, time. I, mean, the, I think well, the, the two girls have been, we were, been yeah, at we the same were, time. Myself and CJ. But, uh, yeah. Cassidy were. <laughs> but yeah, so, it, so it's great, and I think what what's ter terrific about performers like them is that obviously the score is quite varied, and the number <coughs> we're about to hear is quite contrasting, and obviously you need some some performers who can deliver the comedy and the humour, but have also got the voices for delivering the more serious ballady songs. Can I thank all of you for coming in tonight? Well, thanks so much. Yeah. Thank do you for having us. Do your, your, having do your final you number. Us. Just to give uh, the details out, The Route to Happiness, 19th of February to the 24th, Tuesday to Saturday at 7.30, and also, as we said, Sunday at half past two at the Landor Theatre, 70 Landor Road in SW9. Uh, tickets are from 0207 737 
7276. It's 0207 737 7276 or by visiting. I'm going to let you t- deliver your, your own website. Um, all right. Well, my website is bermange, co uk, b e r m a n g e dot co dot uk. Or they can go to the Landor Theatre's website, which is Landor Theatre co uk. Um, because we are actually we're very honoured to have been given the, the focal being made the focal production of a season called From Page to Stage, which is their new musical theatre season, um, which has been put together um, by the producer Katie Lipson and the Landor's artistic director, Robert McWhur, who's directing our production and yeah. has uh, yeah. really made a name for himself at the Landor for directing lots of premieres. He directed the premiere of the last show by Kander and Ebb last year, which was the, uh, they, they wrote Chicago and Cabaret. Um, so we're thrilled to have him on board as well. Brilliant. I'm going to get you to take it away because straight after you finish, it's the latest travel news and the headlines at 11 o'clock. But uh, to play us out this hour, it is uh, the cast of The Route to Happiness. Take it away. <laughs> The route to happiness needs endless learning Surprises lie in wait beyond every turning You pass no signs that show the way to go Must choose from pathways you don't know I seem forever lost in desperate dreaming My object distant and unclear But now I'm closer than I've ever been The light of love will lead me on The route to happiness is here The route to happiness defies resistance Holds promise of a land of gold in the distance It takes some time for you to find the way Life keeps on leading you astray The path I trusted was forever changing The goal I strove for nowhere near But I certain it is now in reach its golden glow will draw me on the route to happiness is here the road's been long and sometimes wrong and filled with hope and dread at last the light is shining right Certain someday they'd appear Now someday's coming near For though life held me back There's one way to go And I'm on track All that counts for me Is where I know I'll be I've no more troubling dreams to fear When happiness is here Sometimes lost my way It's coming right The end is right today From the to happiness Jesus has a sled Surprises lie in wait Beyond you and I tell you I set my sights No sight in the shape of the way We don't go as perfect as he if sees. they're what's driven all my dreams I no wasted hopes to fear the route to happiness is here